I want you to take a look at me, look at my clothes, my hair, my shoes, and make an assumption about me, anything. Now write that down, keep that in your head, do what you need to do to remember that, and hold that for the rest of the talk. I remember the night was absolutely terrifying. I don't know how or why, I didn't know before, but I sat in my room. It was July 2nd at 2.34 a.m., and I had just written a letter. And I, as far as I didn't know, the police had already arrived at my house and came into my door. And no one had known. No one would have known. No one asked if I had been OK. I had been shaky that entire night. No one would have known that I would have planned to kill myself that day. Assumptions are something that we all do. It's part of being human. But there's a line of how far can we take it before it damages our relationships before it damages our ability to connect to each other as human beings, as people, as seeing each other as an individual. Where my story starts is a bit different. Some people may relate, some people not. But for me, my mental health was going through a downfall towards the beginning of the pandemic and through the past few years. And I don't think anyone would have seen it coming. I don't think anyone would have known. If someone would come up to me, I think the first thing they might think is, I am an extremely extroverted child with a lot of interests, and that's not always frankly true. Now, sometimes we don't exactly know what to do. We have expectations, or we may not, and assumptions is our way of filling that void in. But how big of an effect does it have on us? going through politics, social and economic wars. We are going through so much in our media, in our states, with our politicians. We don't have control over that, but what we do have control over is our ability to stop, pause, think. Pause and think about, perhaps, how all of these assumptions that we've made have taken us to where we are today. Assumptions based on our race, gender, sexuality, culture, religion. How have we taken that, and how far has that gotten us? If it's taken us to wars, if it's taken us to fights, lives lost, rights gone or gained, it's not doing us any good. But asking a question is so easy. If you've ever been and walked up to a coffee shop or perhaps your local store, the vendor might have asked you, how are you doing? You may ask them how they're doing. They might say they're good. But how is that really going to engage us? What if you're not? We've been raised to fit a standard that we're expected to say certain things. We are expected to act certain ways. We are expected to look certain ways. And it has controlled our lives. So at one point, do we have to learn to break free from these standards and stop and ask questions? Our species as human beings is entirely based around the fact that we're supposed to just be able to communicate, to understand, and we do. But we also can't do any of that properly if we don't stop to ask questions and get to know others. Outside appearances, outside actions may be completely different from someone's intentions from someone and who they are. And redemption is such a big part of that. Maybe if we had stopped to ask questions, maybe people wouldn't believe that all the things are going on is one country's fault or one side's fault. Perhaps if we stopped and got together and talked, we would stop fighting. We're the United States of America, the United States, and we're not even united. Different states have already developed their own cultures, and that's OK, but we've also split apart from a place where we are supposed to unite together as people and as human beings, organisms living on this earth. We need to take the time to actually stop and ask questions. 
next time you ask someone how they're doing, have no expectations. Be open and really ask. If you want to be able to connect, you really have to be able to. You really want to be able to. If you have no will, you're not going to be able to. But if we were able to connect, perhaps things would be different. Perhaps our world wouldn't be so split apart between countries and ethnicities, races, cultures. Perhaps we would be able to see each other and actually see each other. Now assumptions are something we all do. I do it. I know you guys all have. And it might make you feel guilty and that's okay. As I said, redemption is important, and part of that is redeeming yourself. It's okay to make assumptions because it's part of being human. So forgive yourself. Write that down. It's okay. You are okay. Now, I want you to look at the people around you. Look at them. Look at yourself. Think to yourself, how maybe you've made assumptions, how that's affected you in positive or negative ways. Reflect. Forgive, but reflect. The final thing of advice I would give to you, I really, really, really want you to ask questions. Ask questions and really want to know. Explore your desires, explore your wants, but ask those questions. If we are unable to get to know each other, we are unable to get to know ourselves, as people and who we truly are, who others truly are. Now think back. At the beginning of this talk, I asked you to make an assumption about me. Now I want you to think of that again. Don't say it out loud. Just think it in your head. Maybe write it down. Has your perception changed of me? Has it not? And why? Ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to push standards. If we've been taught so long in our life that we are supposed to follow a standard, but we are all supposed to be querious and questioning, how are we supposed to live in a functionable society? You are you. Other people are themselves. And our ability to ask questions affects our ability to communicate with others. It affects our ability to get to know others, and it affects our ability to sympathize with others as human beings. Now look at yourself and think again. Let all of this soak in. I want you to keep this in your mind and I want you to ask questions. Look at the people around you and wonder if perhaps the way you saw them isn't the way they are. I am me. You are you, and neither our thoughts or actions perceived by others define who we are, and that does not define who I am. Thank you.